Hey guys, welcome back to another online lesson. This is lesson 2.7 and in it we're going to talk about how to find the percent of a number. Really there's just two rules that we have to get started with before we actually do work with numbers. First rule is we're going to rewrite the percent as a decimal. We've been working with it all week. The next thing, we're going to rewrite a word as multiplication. And that word is of. Now I get it. You're probably looking saying, how do I use those two rules? I'm going to show you with three short examples and then we'll work on it in class. Okay. This is a perfect This is a perfect example. What we're going to do is we're going to find 3% of 200. Now, step one, you have to change that percent into a decimal. Again, we've been working with it all week. Find your decimal spot here. Move it once, move it twice. So we have decimal zero three, all right? Step two, change your word of to multiplication. Then your 200, well, that's just 200. <clears throat> so just to recap, we use the first two rules by one. Changed our percent, 3%, to a decimal, which we left with three hundredths. Step two, we took our word of, but made it multiplication. Step three, 200 is just 200. Now, it should just look like multiplying with decimals. So let's work it out. 3 tenths times 200, la da da, I'll rewrite it down here, 200 times decimal zero 03, and we have, <clears throat> again, first you ignore the decimal, so we have zero, zero, 006, ignore the decimal and continue to multiply, zero times zero is zero, zero times zero is zero, zero times two is zero, Add them up, <clears throat> zero, zero, six, zero, okay? Next, count the decimal places. I have none here, I have one, two here. So we're gonna move it once, we're gonna move it twice. And our answer is zero, six, decimal, zero, zero. But of course, we can just rewrite this as six. Cool. So. The answer of what is 3% of 200 is 6. Let me show you two more examples. <clears throat> this one here. What is 32% of 60? Well, let's work it out. 32% we're going to change to a decimal to be decimal 3, 2. The word of changes the multiplication, and then 60 is just straight up 60. Awesome. Let's multiply it as if we're multiplying decimals. 32 hundredths times 60. Decimal 3, 2 times 60. We have 0. Then we have 0. Then we have 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19. Fantastic. Add them up. That would be 0. That would be 2. That would be 9. And that would be 1. Next, count your decimal places. I have two decimal places here. None here, so we're going to move it once. We're going to move it twice. And it looks like our answer is 19.2. We could just leave off that last zero. Perfect. Third example. This one we're going to do a word problem. <clears throat> okay. Solve the below. So again, here's a typical word problem that you might see where we're going to have to extract the information we need. Troy wants to buy a jersey of his favorite Major League Soccer team. The jersey is 30% off the original price. If the original price of the jersey is $35, what is the amount Troy will save? So basically what this question is asking is, what is 30 
percent of 35. Cool. Let's work it out. Step one changes to a decimal. So we have decimal three zero. Of becomes multiplication. $35, we'll just call it 35. Sweet. Now let's work it out as if we're multiplying with decimals. Decimal three zero times 35. That would be zero, 15, zero, nine. Add them up. Zero, five, nine plus one is 10. Count your decimal places. I have one, two here, and I have none here, so we're going to move it once. We're going to move it twice. And our answer that we have is 10.50. But we are dealing with money because it says what is the amount Troy will save. We're going to slap on that dollar sign. And we just figured out that Troy is going to save a whopping $10.50. That's all for now. See you in class.